Hi friends, it's Sam, and today I'm making the world's easiest recipe. Okay, well maybe it's not the world's easiest recipe, but it's really easy. In fact, it's so easy I thought, should I even make a video for this? Because it's so easy. Today I'm gonna make homemade vegan mac and cheese powder. You know when you buy like a box of mac and cheese and it comes with that powdery stuff that you mix with milk to make macaroni and cheese? That is what I've made. I made a vegan version of that. Takes less than five minutes to make. You can pop it in your pantry, store it for whatever mac and cheese cravings strike, and it makes an incredibly delicious homemade vegan mac and cheese. Let's hop to it. So grab yourself a jar or an airtight container, anything that you want to store your vegan mac and cheese powder in, and we're just gonna add everything right in there. So first, new nutritional yeast. Next, all-purpose flour. Now if you prefer a whole food, you're welcome to use a whole wheat flour, or if you are gluten-free, you're welcome to use a gluten-free blend. As long as the flour has the ability to thicken a sauce, it'll work beautifully. One tablespoon of white sugar, one tablespoon of paprika, that's gonna help add that gorgeous golden orangey color that is essential for homemade mac and cheese. Two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Now this is my super secret ingredient. That's not secret because I'm gonna tell you right now, but it takes this recipe from good all the way up to like super amazing delicious and that is lemon pepper. Lemon pepper is gonna add a little bit of sourness, a little bit of tang, so that it gets that kind of sharpness to a cheddar, make it really cheesy tasting. Delicious. Why won't you fit in? Lemon pepper. Mmm, smells lemony. And lastly, turmeric, which is gonna help make that orangey color as well. Now, close up your jar, close up your container, and it's time to shake. Shake, 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 give it a really good shake. So much shaking, <laughs> a lot of shaking. The key here is to make sure that it's mixed really well. <laughs> so shake to your heart's content. <laughs> oh, it's goofy. And so there we have it, homemade vegan mac and cheese powder. How cool is that? As always, I'll put a link down below where you can get the full recipe and all the exact measurements for perfect vegan mac and cheese powder chemistry. Now this is totally shelf stable, so pop it on your shelf, pop it in your pantry, on your cupboard, and it's good to go for whenever vegan mac and cheese cravings strike, which, you know, they happen. They happen a lot to me. <laughs> So this recipe makes about one cup of homemade vegan mac and cheese powder. For every one cup of uncooked macaroni noodles, you use a quarter cup of homemade vegan mac and cheese powder. Is this too much math? We're doing too much math? I should just show you. To prepare vegan mac and cheese, cook one cup of macaroni noodles according to the package directions. You can of course use a gluten-free noodle if you prefer. Now return the empty pot back to the stove with the heat off. Add 3 quarter cups of your favorite non-dairy milk. Today I'm using soy, but you can use whatever you like, along with a quarter cup of our homemade vegan mac and cheese powder. Give it a whiff. Now turn the heat back on and keep cooking just for about two minutes until the sauce has thickened. And now you can stir in your cooked macaroni noodles. How easy peasy is that? Homemade vegan mac and cheese, luxurious, gorgeous, yes. Let's taste, let's. You're gonna have to make it on your own if you wanna taste it. I'm gonna taste some vegan mac and cheese now. Grab yourself a bowl. Yeah, boy. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. So cheesy, delicious. Taste test. Mmm, it's so good. Mm. Another try. Mmm, this is so good. It's creamy, cheesy, it's so satisfying. It tastes way better than any box mac and cheese, vegan or not, that I've had before. This is definitely my new favorite. I've been making this so much ever since I made this recipe. Mmm, bellissimo. You know what I wanna do? 
a little mac and cheese decoration. Yeah, ketchup. Love it. Who else likes ketchup on their mac and cheese? Is that weird? I don't know, it just reminds me of childhood. I'm also gonna put a little sriracha, which doesn't remind me of childhood, but ew, I love a little spice. Mmm, I just love that combination. Mmm, so good. I can't even believe how amazingly cheesy this turns out for such an easy recipe. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Okay, I have to stop eating this so I can do the outro. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, let me know by leaving a like. And don't forget to subscribe for a brand shiny new fuss free vegan video every single Wednesday. I'll see you next week. Bon appetit! <laughs>